Hello everybody and a warm welcome to my channel, Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here today and I hope you're all doing fine even if we live in very strange and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a viewers questions video and today is the 26th of November 2023. And the viewers questions video consists of questions that you viewers have sent to me through uh, email or my telegram group or um, maybe in the comment sector, section. And um, today's question will be, I'm going to read them now. So you're going to see what we're going to talk about. Those questions I'm going to look at today are first question. Is about uh, the Argentina's new president, Javier Milei. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? The second question will be about um, if the entire west coast of the United States will be hit by a very bad long-lasting earthquakes and disappear in four hours. The third question will be about the missing homeless people in San Francisco. And uh, the fourth question will be, uh, will there be a big magnetic pole shift that will lead to extinction of humans on Earth? Well, a quite catastrophic question, but it seems like quite many of you are worried about those. And the fifth and uh, final question will be about Gert Wilders. Uh, who won the Dutch election, if his victory was rigged, or is he a good guy or a wolf in sheep clothing, and what will be the consequences for the Netherlands after his um, um, victory in the elections. Yeah, uh, But before I start this video, I also need to make some... Um, short uh, warnings about scammers for this channel. There are some scammers out there pretending to be me using my profile photo. Some of those scammers send you emails with different kind of proposition. You can sometimes find them down in the comment sector section. I try to delete and block them as soon as I see them, but sometimes they escape my grid. And I don't have any Facebook account for this channel and I don't do any personal reading. So in case you should find uh, something that looks like uh, this channel and offers personal readings, remember they will scam you on your money, it's not me. And I never contact you first, I never ask for money, I don't promote anything or sell anything. And that is a very strong indicator in case you should meet someone that do that, that it's not me and that that is that person or page or whatever is a scam page. And the correct link to my email address, my telegram group, my Rumble channel, uh, you will find down in the description. And my correct uh, YouTube ID, you will find it below uh, my profile on this YouTube channel. So please beware out there and don't get hurt by any scammers. Well, now we shall begin uh, this reading about the viewers' questions. And to do this reading, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, and some dice. So let's start with the first question for today. And that is about Argentina's new president, Javier Milei. Yeah, he's um, a special character. Likes the a little bit drama around him. I have two small links down in the description if you like to see a little bit about this Javier. He's also called Wolverine. Why? You may understand that when you see those um, videos in those links. So, mm -hmm, I'm just going to put this paper away, put it here. And let's concentrate on Javier Millet. What kind of person is this? Is it is he good guy, bad guy? 
and there are some warning signs around him uh, you never know uh, about those politicians uh, we have all thought many of our politicians were good people working for the people but in contrary they were just puppets for a bigger and more evil agenda but now let's concentrate on Javier Milei is he good guy bad guy the full card comes out so he came in as a surprise and he may fool us all who he is and what he's out to do so Javier Milei Here I'm going to also use in this uh, readings and the major arcana of uh, tarot deck. Yeah. And the major arcana are then trump cards like the fool, the hangman, the devil, the sun, the moon and so on. And those, uh, those cards. And some dice. And the cards look like it is. And well, Javier Mille, let's see what the cards have to say about you. First card, we in the tarot card, we have Nine of Swords, and then the Empress, the Magician, the Strength, and Seven of Cups. Then we have in the Oracle cards, Fortune, Father, Husband, Brother, Son, um, Rain Clouds with Sun, shine the strength a ruler to measure things a wood that breaks in two part and salty yeah there are a lot of people that are talking a lot, many bad things about this heavier his uh, center for gossip and uh, nine of swords and people have um, you know, drawn out all the, um, can I say, strange and quirky things about him. He is good on, in the center card, he comes a magician. So he's good on capturing uh, the public. He's good on um, making a point. He's good on making illusions of things, yeah. And um, he's quite strong in what he says. Of course, he won uh, the Argentinian election with a uh, big victory. And he wants to be seen as the father, the, the male figure, the, um, someone who wants to take care of his uh, people or, yeah, in the country. And he's talking that he will give... Uh, fortune and he's strong and things like that and he really don't spare the words so he says what he thinks and those words can be very salty and he's breaking a lot of um, he's not political correct you can you can say that so he's, he breaks things um, breaks the current establishment and he promises that he will bring sunshine 
and light to his people and prosperity. But the last cards, the last card is Seven of Cups. And that for me, it's always a card when some deception, lies, things are uh, coming out. Even though he seems to be very strong, he seems to want to set new measurement of what is good and what is bad. Um, and he really are breaking a lot of woke agenda and things like that. Mm, but if he's totally honest and good, mm, I need to take some more cards on that. Especially on the last one, uh, the Seven of Cups. I need to take three more cards on that one. Is he uh, lying or is he... Uh, a good guy. Is there any hidden agenda around this Javier? Mm. I need one more. Here we have nine of coins, two of swords, temperance and eight of uh, wands. As I said, many people disagree with him, but many people also agree with him. It seems like if he is given a chance, he could turn things around uh, to make Argentina more stronger and more healthier, both financial and otherwise. Mm -hmm. There are no really bad cards around him. But I will take some extra just to be sure. I will just take three more on Javier Millet, current leader of Argentina. Uh, is he a devil in disguise or is he really quirky, strange? Uh, a figure who wants to do well for his country. So, Javier, are you a devil in disguise or a really good person? Here we have the High Priestess the High Priest and the Empress. Um, those two cards, High Priestess and High Priest, uh, is an those are an indication of there are something that is hidden. Some information, some secrets that we don't know about Javier that is hidden at the moment. None of those cards are really an evil card, an indication of evil. Uh, but I don't think he's telling the whole truth out there. I don't see him as evil, but there is some hidden agenda, but I don't think it's evil. Not according to the cards anyway. And the Empress here is, uh, indicates that it could be some kind of prosperity, some kind of good times he wants to bring forward uh, for Argentina. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take some last cards on Javier. Is there some last information on him? Is there some last information on Javier? Hmm. Here again, the Empress, Justice, the Magician again, Two of Wands, and Nine of Swords. Yeah, um, according to the cards, it looked like he want to bring Justice back to Argentina, balance to the country, and um, 
prosperity. He wants the country. He wants the country to grow and be prosperous. And a lot of people will not like that, because if uh, the normal citizen is uh, getting richer and, and healthier, then the greedy elite gets poorer. Mm. Yeah, he could be a part of the tribunals or something like that. Well, time will tell. Anyway, the cards don't tell that he is a very evil person. He has some hidden agenda, but I don't see it as an evil hidden agenda. Uh, well, as I said, time will tell where this will lead. But I think we should keep an eye on him anyway, to see where it goes. So, now the next question. And the next question was... Yeah, there are a lot of talk about that the entire west coast of the United States will be hit by a very sorry <clears throat> bad long-lasting earthquakes. And disappear in four hours. So let's see doomsday prophecies that are being spoken of out there on uh, online and social media. Uh, will the west coast of uh, United States be hit by very very bad earthquakes and disappear quickly? Uh, now we're gonna take some cards on that. The West Coast will be hit by very bad earthquakes. Can be hit by bad earthquakes, but it doesn't mean that it has to disappear. With millions and millions of people dead. And the last one. And some dice. Yeah, and the cards look like this. And let's see how to answer this question about the earthquakes. In the tarot card, we have nine of wands, knight of, knight of coins, four of wands, uh, the high priest, the devil. And then on the oracle cards, we have four leaf clover, work your magic, death, and um, here we have uh, the emperor. Then we have rear, a crown, and sang. Here on the devil and on the death card, I need to take some more cards just to be sure what it is about. Uh, and the cards that came up are the world, four of uh, swords, and on the devil, six of swords. According to the cards, there were some plans to make that entire west coast disappear. Uh, that was the plan from the evil ones. But this plan has been stopped. 
uh, it will not be able to be fulfilled. Uh, on the Devil card, we have six of uh, swords, and that means that plan has went away. It, it's not active anymore. And on the Death card, four of uh, swords, that something is on hold, it's not moving, this plan is not moving forward. And um, on the, here we also have the universe. So some very bad situation will turn out to be something good. We also have work your magic. We have the emperor, the crown, so, and four leaf clover. So there were some evil plans, but they were stopped. And they will be changed to something else, but not like the entire west coast of United States will disappear. But the plan was there. So something evil was cooking. But according to the cards and the, the, um, uh, the dice, uh, this plan has been stopped. Mm -hmm. There are some higher forces uh, involved in this and they would not allow that. And so many people to um, to die. Mm. Uh, yeah. And since we have on the dice sang, so whatever was planned, uh, how deep and evil that plan was, will be talked about, will be sang about. Uh, so people will get to know the truth about this and that could be quite terrifying in itself mm -hmm. and just gonna take three last cards on that question if there is something more to be said about this so-called planned devastating earthquakes is there, is there any are there any last words to be said about those devastating earthquakes? Are there any last words to be said? Mm. Here we have Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups and Three of Coins. So no, I don't see a devastating earthquake. Um, on the contrary, I see some big changes, but for the better, for every, for the good of everyone, mm -hmm. and that people will work together in love and harmony to rebuild the West Coast. Not after an earthquake, but after hundreds of years of um, yeah, so-called uh, taking advantage of the people, slavery in all kinds of way, ways. But no, I don't see a big earthquake. Well, let's continue to question number three. And let's see what that was. Question number three. Mm -hmm. It was about um, a lot of missing homeless people in San Francisco. And that was before an ACAP meeting. Some Chinese leaders were invited there. And somehow a lot of homeless people disappeared overnight. Uh, I have a small link also down in the description about this. What uh, mainstream say. It happened but I'm still gonna take some cards what happened to all those homeless people on the streets and that suddenly disappeared over a night are they victims for some cruel activity or are they in good hands so let's take some cards on the homeless in San Francisco
what happened to those homeless people? And some else. And the cards look like this. Yeah, for the homeless people that disappeared. Uh, in the tarot cards we have Seven of Wands, King of Cups, The Justice, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups. On the Oracle card we have a cross, take charge of this situation, loss. And then we have the devil here, two lamps, jerk and an axe. According to the cards, it looks like some govern governmental, um, yeah, institution or something took care of this homeless people. Take charge of this situation. They wanted those people out. The purpose of this is not totally clean. We have the devil here. They wanted to chop off. Um, those people that was like uncomfortable uh, to them. Those who have lost everything. I'm gonna see here. Are they safe or uh, something bad happened to them? Mm. On that I have two of coins and a chariot and ten of cups. I don't see that anything bad happened to them, like they have been uh, victims of a genocide or something like that. They have been moved to other places. We have the chariot here, so some movement, some other direction. And since we have two of coins and ten of cups, so or some new homes or somewhere else to stay but i don't see them um, disappeared in an act of a genocide or something like that no they have been moved away still a lot of this taking away those homeless people from that those places were not a clean act we have um, the devil here yeah so there is some dirty stuff behind that but still those homeless people uh, in san francisco uh, there will be in the future homes and new start for them but for the moment they are like temporary uh, in some other places while they are in those places they will be planned uh, another uh, way to give them roof over the head. So still by removing them, still there will be some other kind of social security thing involved to uh, help those people to get a roof over their head. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my answer for the homeless, dis disappeared homeless people in San Francisco. Let's continue to the next question. And 
the next question was will a big magnetic pole shift will there be a big magnetic pole shift that will lead to extinction of humans on earth ah, quite dramatic questions today about the extinction well let's see will the magnetic pole shift and be a way to uh, kill off humankind. Just a moment. Magnetic pole shift extension. cards and finally some dice That was empty. I need another one. Okay, and the cards look like this. So, uh, let's see here. In the tarot cards, we have seven of cups, nine of cups, two of swords, five of coins, and ace of swords. On the oracle cards, we have uh, thought, drink more water, and storm cloud and sun, the devil again. And on the dice we have a loaf of bread, mountains, ugly, and slice of an orange. Um, according to the cards, all those horrible extinction stories that we all gonna die, we all gonna uh, perish in agony and disaster and things like that. Those are thoughts put out, not necessary truth, lies, seven of cups for me are lies, deception, to bring about uh, diversion, distraction, um, poverty of mind into the people. And here we have the devil again, so the things that are not so clean. Um, I don't see a magnetic polar shift be something that will kill off humankind in case that happens. Um, the card symbolically say drink more water meaning chill down. Um, even if some kind of a magnetic polar shift would happen the sun will shine through, through quite quickly and it will not be a total devastation. Um, we have to be strong, we have to focus uh, our mind, our feelings, on ha our heart on positive outcome, on strength. And um, Then this figure cannot take over our mind, our feeling, because every thought of strength uh, Every time we are scared, frightful, terrified, 
um, then that negative energy uh, is food for the evil ones. This uh, horrific demonic kind of race, it's their food. It's ugly. Mm -hmm. And they want to squeeze like an orange the last of our fears, the last of our pennies. Um, so they can, it's their bread of loaf, a loaf of bread. So it's their food. Our fear is their food. And we have to be strong like a mountain and don't let us be moved by this. So according to the cards, I don't see any big devastation with a uh, so-called polar shift that the humankind will extinct. No, be extinct. I don't see that. It's more a thought form that have been put out by this figure uh, to make us uh, unbalanced yeah, and fearful. And that is the bread, the nourishment to the evil ones. Yeah. So that was my answer for human kind extinction uh, through a polar shift. Let's continue to the last question for today. And that is about the Dutch election. And the first part is, um, man, I don't know if I pronounce the name right, Gert Wilders. And he won Gert Wilder. And was this victory rigged? And is he a good politician or is he a wolf in sheep's clothing? So we have to take a couple of cards on this. We begin first with uh, Gert Wilder. And the election was it rigged? So that he could win this election. Mm -hmm. Get wilder. Was the election rigged? Here we have Nine of Cups, the Strength, the Sword, Ace of Swords, Ten of uh, Wands, and the Moon. According to the cards, it doesn't look like it was rigged. It really looks like the majority of the people that voted in um, the Dutch election really voted for this Gert Wilder. Mm -hmm. So according to the cards, it doesn't look like it was rigged. Like Gerd Weidel uh, didn't have so many votes, but he still won uh, something similar like in the States. No, it doesn't look like that in uh, the Dutch election. Okay, now I'm going to take some cards if um, Gerd Wilder is a um, good politician who wants to work for the benefit of the people? Or is he a dark figure in disguise, pretending to be good? Gert Wilder, are you good or bad? I'm going to take one oracle card. And one dice. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, and the cards look like this. Gerd Wilder. Good guy, bad guy. The first card, we have Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Page of Wands. And then we have a beautiful woman, Work Your Magic, and Lover. And in the center here we have Embraced. Yeah. According to the cards, I don't see him as a very evil guy. No. But he will not be in charge for so long. It looks like he will be removed from office. And that is due to some scandal, love scandal, romantic scandal. And he will not be able to continue um, to be the leader of, for that party. So it looks like he will be removed. Uh, meaning, I don't think he will be forcibly removed. But it is possible that he will resign. He will say after, a, could be a couple of months, weeks. And I'm sure if, if even he will be able to stay a whole year in office, uh, he will disappear from that um, position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and officially it will be due to some love story. I'm going to take two more cards if he is evil person with a hidden agenda or this is part of a bigger plan or something it looks like it's part of something else we have four of wands that means movement move on move to a new place make a new camp so he will move on and uh, eight of coins uh, it's labor so it's something that is planned worked out uh, move on to something else uh, but still i don't get any cards of evilness or something like that he will not be the right person in that position Mm. Well, let's continue to the last part of the Dutch questions here, and that is What are the consequences for the Netherlands with the result of the elections? So now this Gerd Wilder have been elected what will be the consequences consequences of that election for the Netherlands? Mm -hmm. Just a moment. What will be the consequences for Netherlands after this election? And some dice. Okay, and uh, those cards look like this. 
The consequences, yeah. In the tarot cards, we have three of coins, the fool, knights of swords, queen of swords, the lovers. And then we have a ship in the air, the emperor, stability. On the dice, we have a jewel, rare, and mouthful. I don't see that uh, we'll that there will be any serious bad consequences uh, for this re election. Still, I don't see that uh, the king in position, Gert Wilder, would stay there for long. It's like on an airship, he will fly away. And it looks like in the future there will be a female leader who will bring stability and, and love uh, to the Dutch people and that woman will be a jewel mm -hmm. and uh, she will have she will be a mouthful she will not spare the world she, words she will know how to say and what to say in, in the right moment mm -hmm. so uh, I don't see any really bad consequences. Some turmoil, some illusion being broken, some unexpected changes in the politic area. And as I said, um, this elected person, Gert, I don't see him staying there for so long. Mm -hmm. But the final result for the Dutch people still will be stability and love. So. The country will be a better place, a more loving place to live in. But big changes are coming for the Netherlands too. Yeah. Well, that was my answers for this viewer question video. And um, to all of you beautiful, wonderful viewers out there, I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel in all the ways you do, with your comments, with your sharing and caring, and everything you do is so magnificent, and I'm very grateful. And without you, I would not have the possibility to continue doing more videos. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this. Wish you all the best. Take care out there. Be strong. Uh, remember, we are going into very turbulent times. And we, it's important that we don't um, panic and be very fearful. Remember, what we think about, we create. It's very important. And if we are in a panic mode, then the evil ones that feed on that negative energy, we just make them fatter and juicier and stronger. And we really don't want that. So be strong and uh, things will improve in the future. Don't lose hope. That's most important. Thanks again uh, for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other soon. Bye bye.